Hello everyone. Today, I would like to show you that how to create adjustable floor drain rivet family. And I will refer those dimensions in the picture to create the parameter. Before go to rivet, I would like to request to subscribe the channel and click the notification bell for the next video. Ok, let go to rivet. Open the new family. Select the generic model and open it. Go to Family Category and Parameter. Select Plumbing Fixture for Family Category and select Normal for Part Type. Go to Front View. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 25mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for E. Keep type and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 125 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for D. Keep type and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 90 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for C. Keep type and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 25 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for A. Keep type and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 70 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for B. Keep type and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 25 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 10 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 45 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 23 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Draw the line and lock to reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Check in 3D view. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 15 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 8 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 12 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Insert dimension and make equal. 
Insert another dimension and lock it. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 15 mm and fillet the corner and lock it. Offset 8 mm and create similar. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Check in 3D view. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 10 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 5 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 8 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 15 mm and fillet the corner and lock it. Offset 8 mm and create similar. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 2 mm and fillet the corner and lock it. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Check in 3D view. Go to front view. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to base adapter and pre-pour material. Keep type and click OK. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to after pour material. Keep type and click OK. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to cover material. Keep type and click OK. Go to left view. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Finish the extrusion. Go to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Join the geometry with each other. Check in 3D view. Go to create. Select pipe connector and place on work plane. Select pipe connector and associate diameter parameter to A. Select pipe connector and set 15 mm diameter value. Select pipe connector and assign diameter parameter to F. Keep type and click OK. Go to family type. Click on the material by category. Create a new material and rename it. And click apply. Open asset browser. Click on appearance library and select the metal. Replace stainless steel polished material. Duplicate the asset and rename it. Go to graphic and select use render appearance. Click apply and OK. Click on the material by category. 
create a new material and rename it. And click apply. Open asset browser. Click on appearance library and select the metal. Replace stainless steel mesh small hole material. Go to graphic and select use render appearance. Click apply and OK. Save the family. Go to reference level. Insert dimension image for reference. Go to family type. Create a new family type for diameter 50 mm and name it. Set parameters value as per image dimension. Create a new family type for diameter 80 mm and name it. Set parameters value as per image dimension. And click apply. Create a new family type for diameter 100 mm and name it. Set parameters value as per image dimension. Create a new family type for diameter 150 mm and name it. Set parameters value as per image dimension. Click apply and OK. Check in 3D view. Go to family type. Check and play the family type. Click apply and OK. OK, adjustable floor drain family creation is completed. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. Thank you for watching.